Hello, welcome back and thank you for being with me again today. Um, my friends, today's video uh, is about three issues, two re related to uh, Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, and the other one with uh, Putin, the president of uh, Russia. And uh, they will provide uh, two different visions on the war and also some updates. The first um, article is from uh, Ukrainska Pravda from uh, May 8, 2022, and this is the title. Mr. Zelensky says, Today showed that Ukraine is part of the free world and Russia is alone. That's after the uh, free world Prime Minister uh, Trudeau visited Kiev. You know that Prime Minister? Remember the Ottawa uh, trucker um, column and all that, uh, what happened over there, the convoy, and the aftermath of that, the free world and Canada. So yeah, you want to be part of that? What can you do, Zelensky? Once you do something that you're not supposed to, then you're going to be pushed aside. So this is Zelensky who tells us that because Trudeau, Prime Minister Trudeau visited him for a, actually for a, uh, uh, you know, uh, media op uh, PR, uh, and uh, that he's accepted by the free world, free world who froze other people's assets and think about uh, using them however they fit. They think it's going to be comfortable and everything uh, the way they want it. Well, that's a free world. And then Zelensky also tells us here from, uh, this article is from Fox News on May 9th, 2022. And Zelensky says that the war will end very soon. Um, and he said that Ukraine will celebrate two victory days. Uh, talking about the World War II uh, victory, and uh, this would be so very soon. Now, what is a very soon? What would be very soon for you? What's very soon for me? What's very soon for Zelensky? Guess what? He's not saying what does uh, what that means. He's just saying that the barbarians. Uh, you know, uh, which is the Russians will be squashed and destroyed and we will be the part of the free world and we are good and all that. Good, okay. And the other ones are all bad. You know, that bad and good. Um, and then we have uh, uh, Putin and um, so, uh, during his uh, May 9th, uh, you know, uh, Victory Day celebrations in Moscow says that uh, the campaign in Ukraine was forced and necessary. Now, how was it forced? Well, forced was, uh, from what I got so far from the Russian side, is because of the expansion of uh, NATO eastwards and Ukraine would have been right at their border. And they said, you know what, we can't accept this. Sooner or later, these guys the defensive alliance, which is NATO, expanding, moving towards us, um, tells us that sooner or later a confrontation will be uh, occurring because they're they're hostile to us. That's basically what the Russians said for the past, I don't know, 15 years, 20 years, more than that. And especially after the US uh, placed uh, uh, missiles uh, systems in defensive missile systems in Romania and uh, Poland for the unexistent uh, Iranian threat and rockets coming to Europe. <laughs> it was laughable. So that would have happened sooner or later and uh, he had to, I'm not going to say now, make a parley between uh, uh, two uh, leaders from the Second World War, which one said that I had to attack in uh, you know, this country because right now, because these guys would have been uh, in a year, would have been much more stronger than they are right now. So we have to do it now. Um, but that's what happens, I guess. So he says that and force necessary because uh, the Russia wants to make sure that uh, he has a buffer zone between at least the rockets launchers in Romania and Poland and his country, instead of having them right in Ukraine in Lugansk or Donbass. And then obviously the ide uh, ideology of, uh, you know, the Nazism and all that and 
defending his uh, his uh, co-nationals in Ukraine. That's a different one, but necessary to defend his people, his people, the Russian people living, population living in the East uh, Ukraine that were not really uh, <clears throat> treated very nicely by the Kiev government, as we all know, until about two months ago. Uh, since two months ago, Kiev became the perfect uh, capital of a perfect country. But until then, you could still find information on what happened with the uh, uh, Russian minority population over there, with their language, with their schools, with their uh, even attack by the uh, Ukrainian army. And why? Because of the 2014 uh, overthrow of a uh, democratically elected government by forces outside of, uh, <clears throat> and may we say, Ukraine with the help of them, not with the forces, but helped by those guys and incited and so on. So anyway, uh, this is what these guys are seeing. The, the war will end very soon. Uh, Putin says that we were uh, uh, forced to do this. And another thing, what happens now with those guys in the media? There were many, many of them. Many. You can still find the articles uh, that said that Putin most likely, and experts, experts, those expert, experts and those uh, military people who said that, uh, and analysts, senior analysts saying that Putin will, uh, during the, his victory, uh, uh, May 9th victory day parade, he's going to declare war on Ukraine. Where is that? I told you that would not happen because that was dumb. But nevertheless, they pushed that, they said it, they tried to make people be scared. Do I try to portray this guy as really gone? But if they're gone, they can use other means, don't you think, uh, to conduct the war? So I want to know what happens with those guys. So they were wrong and other people were right. So what happens with them? Should we listen to them again? And if you probably look in their history, you can find a pattern of uh, this kind of uh, information miss, if you know what I mean. And uh, I, I dislike when these guys come and say, oh, this guy's gonna do this, probably he's gonna do this, probably he's gonna do this, he can't afford losing a war, he's gonna do this, he's gonna do that. Such an exaggerated claims that even a child could figure out it's they're just uh, improbable, very improbable. And then you have this as experts, experts, foreign ministers, foreign ministers, you know who they are because they told you. Yeah, he's going to use that. He's going to have a parade in Mariupol. Yes, he will have that. Wind up. He would have a, a parade in Mariupol. Doing what? I mean, only would do that, but obviously they think he is. No, we did, they didn't have it. So where are those guys? Where are those guys? Well, he can't because uh, the Russians' resistance. Really? Why would they do it over there? It's, it's unbelievable. And right now, where is the declaration of war? I want to see that. Pay cut in those guys' as experts and analysts and contributors? No, you're going to see them tomorrow again. And the next day and the next day. Why? Because that's the job they have to do. And they do it great. But people like us figure it out very easily. Why? Because you know more than you just uh, watch uh, their little uh, uh, rants. Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.